March is Reading Month in Michigan, and our city is home to many great local bookstores. So we thought that we would check in with one of them in honor of this special celebration. John King Books is a special gem of a bookstore right here in Detroit. It has one of the largest used and rare book collections anywhere, and it is such a delight. Here to tell us all about it is Deborah Lee. Welcome, Deborah. Good morning, Tati. Thank you for having us talk about the store today. It's our pleasure. Uh, First, tell us a little yeah. bit about John K. King Books. How long has it been around? How many books are in there? Okay, so Mr. King started it, and people often ask us, is there a previous owner? But actually, he started it out of high school. So he's a great example of what determination can do. That meant he started around 15, um, selling books uh, from in front of his mom's house, at the mall, and then he finally got a space on uh, West Warren. And then finally he moved to the Michigan Theater Building. And I think that's when that became the game changer. His love affair with Detroit continued from there. He was able to acquire this building uh, in the 80s, but not move in until uh, about 84. He proceeded to fill the building from the first floor up and um, eventually acquire the building behind us where we keep our rare books. Oh, yeah. so Speaking of rare books, what are some of the rare books that you have in stock? Well, right now, uh, Mr. King has uh, the first edition of the Book of Mormon for $100,000. Oh, wow. He has the edition of Virginia Woolf's first book done on her private printing press with she and her husband. Um, he also has a uh, copy of the Magna Carta, which is one of the most wow. beautiful books I've ever seen. It's small and it's hand done, and it looks like a series of illuminated manuscript leaves. So there are things that you absolutely love, and I've had the privilege of looking at working for him these years. That's wonderful. Now, you guys have more than just books in stock. What else can people find at your store? Oh, Mr. King loves artwork, music boxes, um, paper ephemera, because a lot of history locally is based on companies that were small businesses that may have evolved into something great and large today. We sell stamps. He has some coin collections. We have some antique furniture. So we have something, lots of bookends, lots and lots of decorative bookends antique clock. So they're the things that go with the things that book lovers love. And book lovers, we love things that are all antique and sometimes decorative, but mostly useful. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Now, do you have a favorite item at the bookstore? Um, I do. Um, it's been sold though, but I tell people my story of my favorite item. He had a book that was by County Cullen's brother and it was all um, in woodcuts. And it was Ebony and Topaz. Wow. And I used to go in office and just look at it to make sure it was still there. It was a little out of my price range at that time. Um, but so every once in a while, there's my favorite. Virginia Woolf's book right now is my favorite. So I pick one every generation and I appreciate it um, and have the privilege of appreciating it until someone decides to buy it and take it home. Completely understandable. You got to keep the, the passion going. Where can people learn more information? Well, we have a website, which is johnkingdetroit.com. And um, it has the history of the store on it. It has the, the connection to the rare book uh, link. And the nice thing about it here is if you look at the website and there's really something you'd like to see, we invite you to come into the store and let us help you examine it. We also have about 6,000 art books that are not listed anywhere and that you won't see when you walk in through the front door. So people and have to like reach to out to you for that. Yeah. Yes, and I yes, will say so. that you guys are super helpful when, when I have been in there. So it, it is an experience I think everyone should have at least once in Detroit. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having us. Have a wonderful day. Same to and you. thank you. Keep reading. Thank Alrighty. you. Good. Have a great day. Jason, over to you.